So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the hyper zoom transition in Premiere Pro. Also, you're going to need the BCC plugin. To get started, have two clips ready. I've got mine right over here and the first thing you want to do is head between the two clips and you want to head around eight keyframes ahead. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to pull the second clip towards the playhead. So right about there. And so now you have eight empty frames in between. What we need to do is fill this gap with one frames. You want to find the original clip where you got the clips from. So I got mine from Cowboy Bebop the movie and as you can see I've got the entire clip here from this specific fight scene and you want to find some shots that kind of stand out so I would say this one looks good if we look for another I would say that looks good as well this one as well and basically what you want to do is you want to zoom in all the way and you want to make a one frame cut just like that just one frame for this specific shot and so what you want to do is copy this so Control C head back to your clips and then between the gaps Control V to paste and it's just going to put that one frame of this shot over here you want to repeat this seven more times so here's another shot i've already made my cuts and i've got them all right here as you can see you want to head over to the effects box and search for radial blur drag it onto the first one frame and set the blur amount to 12. right click on the effect click on copy and head over to the second one and then just right click paste repeat this for the third one and also the fourth so now the first four clips have the radial blur set at 12. you want to do the same for the fifth one but instead you want to set it to something higher so i'm going to do 16. right click on this one and click on copy you can highlight the next three clips and just click ctrl v on your keyboard to paste it on all three of them and so far you're going to get something that looks like this but we can make this look better by adding a scale out at about six keyframes before the end of the first clip so one two three four five six set that keyframe to 125 you can head towards the end of the keyframe but i'm going to head two keyframes back so just before the shot so right over here and i'm going to reset it back to 100 pull the handle for the first keyframe to the right so just about there make sure it's on level and let go at the beginning of the second clip you want to keyframe it to 150 at the beginning it's about eight keyframes ahead and you want to reset it back to 100 you want to graph this one to the left so pull the handle towards the left you can also adjust the first keyframe too by pulling it towards the left and slightly higher so around there and now when i play it back you should get something that looks like this it's a little difficult to notice but it does scale out at the end of the first clip for the final clip you can head over to limetri color and just turn up the exposure by two and then when you head over to effect controls you can open this up where it says basic correction you can keyframe and graph this as well so i'm just going to set it to two at the beginning had about six keyframes ahead and reset it back to zero graph this towards the left and you get like a nice flash effect at the beginning anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you next time so yeah peace